parents as well, because you're going to be interacting with the parents also, or just the kids. Yeah, actually, I get to work with a lot of kids in uh, orphanage and a child house. So, yun yung mas nakakasama ko. But now, syempre, kasi I've been blessed with a childhood with a lot of artists, um, parents who are open, a lot of artistic people like dancers. I used to dance ballet, um, of course, I also sing. And now I'm into acrobatics. Oh, <laughs> acrobatics? I mean, yeah. mga aerial dance. Oh, you do tra oh, of course. Mga ganyan. So, trapeze. Hindi pa naman yeah. trapeze. Mga sumasabi sa chandelier. No, no, no. Um, I guess I'm just surrounded with so much creative people. I want to be able to share the openness that creative people have. And I just want them to see how fun it is. And how to fully express themselves with the proper guidance that when anyone can do anything and I think that's something that we can explore this season. So it's not too late for me to sing. Never too late. Or din po, tara na. You can enjoy it as a way to sing online. Who said naman pang bata lang, pwede lang lahat. I think it's 4 to 7, not 40 to 7. But online, you can watch the videos and you can learn Correct. a little something, something. It's a lesson for everybody. Yeah. Okay, Sian, what's, you, what's your role, you think, in this season? Well, para sa akin, when I growing up, I um, I witnessed my my mom was a piano teacher back in the back in the states. She used to teach kids from ages so bata from four and um, meron pa mga twenties, thirties, and forties. And um, I would always see her process. Um, I would uh, I would be there habang pinuturuan niya yung mga students niya. Nakita ko na what she tells the kids is don't aim for perfection. Although she everyone wants to be perfect, everyone wants to do their best, di ba? But we don't aim for perfection, we aim for progress always. So I want to growing up and um, how we inspire the kids to be more creative and it's okay, it's okay for to express yourself, just and be happy. Thank you very much for that. And Dimples, you're also a mom, so I'm sure that when you mentor these kids or when you see them feeling more, you're kind of their mommy, na rin, ba? It's true, like every every season, nakakatawa nga because I work with them, no? Nakakatrabaho ko sila at ibang pride ang nararamdaman ko. Nako, eye shiner namin to. That's my eye shiner. Like sina Lucas, I'm more actually Lucas is part of One More Chance, the, the sequel now. So so surprised I get to see Daddy and I get to mingle with the parents as well. At lumalaki na sila si Esa. Pag nakikita ko, grabe parang feel na feel mo talaga na parang magulang kanila. But I guess my my main role not only as a mom that can relate to the mommies who will, and daddies who will be watching and guiding their kids know is as usual from the very first I shine I've been there so for I shine one two and three and now four I feel really proud of being able to be part of such a such a good movement you know it's the gifted movement is really not for us but for the kids and for the parents as well this is their body 